Welcome to Herbie's Reef. David and Emily here. It's been a while since we've made a video and it's time for a tank update. What I've got on the screen right now is our new home wrecker. We um, went to a frag swap in Dallas and Jason Fox was there and he had this home wrecker and we went ahead and purchased it. Um, one, because we wanted to have one that came directly from Jason Fox and I'd like to have one growing out in the frag tank anyway so that when we change our nano over to a um, SPS tank will have one, you know, getting pretty big and growing. And two, we were worried we were going to lose the other home wrecker because it didn't look so great after the 10, the elevated 10 in our water. Um, but if you look, it has actually come back around and is looking pretty good. It still has a few spots at the very base that are uh, giving us a little trouble, but I, it's every day it's growing and encrusting a little more again. And it seems to have recovered. The tip has polyps coming out again. Um, so I think it's gonna make it. So what we did is we put these both in the display tank for now, and uh, we're gonna let them kind of grow together. And when we get ready for that one to either be in the frag tank or in Emily's uh, nano tank, we will cut it or else take the whole frag plug out, but we're gonna let it grow in here for now. It's been so upset that I'm scared to move it now and I just can't, th this other one from Jason Fox looks so good, I can't, um, I can't put that one in the frag tank, it's too beautiful. But everything's been growing. If you look, our green slimer has several new heads and it's uh, almost leaving the frag plug. And then our, I don't know if you can tell, but our pink lemonade is actually encrusting and that took forever for it to start doing that, but it, it seems to have finally started. And then things have just really been growing since uh, we got the tin out of the water and, um, and I've been able to keep my alkalinity just super stable. Um, and this is the Walt Disney. It's starting to color up a little bit and it's uh, encrusting. It's almost encrusted to the rock. So that's really good. We haven't even owned that thing that long and it's already almost off the frag plug. And then here's the solar flare. It hasn't encrusted yet, but it's looking good. I talked to Jason again when he was in town, and he said that that spot on the back of it that we thought was a RTN, he said it's just because it was on the back of the tank, and that was a shaded area, so it's just not, uh, not as strong there. But it's looking really good, and when the blues are on, this thing's starting to glow that orange color that the solar flares are known for. And then uh, our... Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd is starting to um, leave the flag pl plug, frag plug, <laughs> and then the Palmer's Blue Millie. I don't know that it's grown much. It might have be encrusting just a tiny bit more. It's definitely colored up quite a bit since the first day we got it, though. No, oh, I can't get it to focus like I want. We need to get a camera that's better than an iPhone camera, but. So far, that's what we've got. Then we've got these on the back of the tank. That's our Haterade. And it's hadn't grown much, but it's still looking good. And then we've added these other Chaos Zoas. And the clam is happy again. And with the clam, we actually found a awesome little thing hanging onto his shell. If you look really closely on that little lump there, the clam has a clam. Yeah, I didn't believe Emily at first, but if you put your hand near it, that thing actually shuts. So he has a little clam attached to him. He's also got a scallop or something attached underneath on his foot, but right now it, you can't see it because of the position he's in. Then we've added these rocks so that we have a little more room to grow some zoas. And these are those carob sea rocks um, that are artificially made and painted. And you can see that we're getting some diatomes on it just because they're new and they don't have a coating or anything yet. So probably they're gonna get a lot uglier before they get pretty. And another warning I'll give you is if you ever put these in your tank, they will make your protein skimmer go crazy. Mine overflowed and luckily I have that skim eight locker which turned it off, but it just, for days it's been bubbling over. Um, so I had to turn it way, way down. Now, he had said that the rocks were for zoas, but they're actually for acros down there at the bottom oh, of yeah, the cave, sorry. not zoas. And then we added these rocks between between the pig rock. That's the pig rock. And then uh, between that and the anemone rock, we added these rocks just so we can put a few acros up there also. And everything else is, 
is doing well. We've got them all. They're, they're all about the same. You can see this wishbone is really encrusting. You can see that it's got a remnant piece of dino hanging in front of it. We've mostly conquered the dinos, but, um, but we still have a little bit, as you can see. So they'll be gone soon, though, I, I'm quite confident. And these are some new zoas we got. I, I forget what they're called. Emily, those what are, are those? Those are called blow pops. Blow pops. And then we got these on right there. And those are called King Midas Touch. And then we got these, which those are, are called pinwheels. Pinwheels. And then these are closed up. I can't remember what they are. But you certainly could, wouldn't be able to tell anyways now because they're closed. And there's our clownfish enjoying the gonopora. And then we moved Emily's uh, alveopora in here because it was getting bleached in her tank and not very happy. And we just stuck it down there and hopefully it'll recover. It seems to be gradually changing back to color. So that's pretty much it. As far as the dinos go, I think I'll put that in a separate video just so these don't get too long. And that way, if you're not interested in the dinos, you don't have to watch it. Um, but you can see our tank update. Oh, and Emily wanted me to add one more thing. Soon we um, are going to be getting in the mail a Matt V Rainbow Envy. So that's a really um, nice coral. It's got rainbow polyps and we're excited to be getting it. Um, I don't know when the guy's gonna ship it, it's really hot in Texas right now, so we're waiting for the weather to cool down just a little bit, which may not happen for a couple of months, but, um, but either way, hopefully we'll have it before too long. And I will um, take you all into the frag tank and just do a quick update there too. Okay, and here's the frag tank, and in here you can see we've pretty well gotten the dinos under control also. So everything's looking really good. It's starting to encrust in here also. Unfortunately, my gl glass is just a little bit um, dirty. I should have cleaned it before we made this video. But these these are all encrusting and starting to do well. And our zoas have been growing really well. All right, I think that's it for now. If you haven't uh, liked or subscribed, please do that. We could use some more subscribers and um, a little bit to get the channel going. So I would definitely appreciate it if you're watching our videos, if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks. Bye.